Welcome back to the Mind of Watercolor, everybody. You know, I got a cool little technique here. I think you're going to really enjoy. It's a lot of fun, real easy. It takes a little bit of practice, but it's very simple. What you'll need is a small fan brush like this. What you'll be painting or trying to paint are bare trees or just budding trees that are in the distance. The technique is just a little bit of a stroke of the fan brush like this. You know, it makes sense out of this. You kind of need to go out and look at a bare tree, but as the branches get out to the finer um, edges of their branches, They're just too small and distant to paint every one. And if you try to paint the branches one by one, if you want to get into that kind of a detail, the scale's just going to look all wrong. It looks like you're painting a sapling up close. But first, let me just show you the technique and why this works. You just make these little arcs with these short little fan brush strokes. Okay, that's step one. Second step is, and I just use a rigger, the tree trunk. And as you get up closer to the fan brush strokes, you start painting in finer lines. You can use a regular round that has a good point if you want. The point is, is that you get these, these fine little branches out towards the edge that match up with your little fan brush strokes. See that? Looks like a, a tree with all the branches detailed way out in the distance. It's really kind of a simple, cool technique. Let's do some more. Practice this and it's just almost habit forming. I have filled pages with these and it is just so much fun to do. Main branches, if you're using a rigger like I am, it's helpful to stand it almost on its end, tilt it away from you a little bit, and pull. Because you're going thick to thin. I think riggers work best that way. Do whatever you're comfortable, but if you're having a little bit of trouble, try that. Okay, you can paint multiple canopies for different size trees. Let's say maybe you've got a long, skinny one, okay? And, you know, different trees, the branches go in different ways. So some branches tend to go more straight up. Isn't that cool? Multiple trunks. You need to pause the video and go back and watch. Do it. But I want to do several here just to make sure you get the idea. Now here in the South US, the trees are starting to bud, so they're not going to be bare much longer. This also works for budding trees. I'm going to show you that in just a second. Again, just melding or blending these finer outer branches into those outer strokes. Distant trees always look like they have this kind of arc to them. Now, if you add a little more color um, and a little more paint, like with some green, you can make the trees look like they're budding. Sometimes I'll go in and I'll crosshatch the strokes a little bit, but I'm making the painting a little more dense there. Okay. All I'm using for the tree is just a sepia, kind of a watered down sepia, sort of a, a pale color to get across the distant um, the aerial perspective of the distance. Aerial perspective just means the further away things are, the paler they are. 
so you don't, you know, you want to paint with some something real dark and vivid, trying to get across distance. That was kind of cool too. I I put in some of these branches and the bud areas were still wet, so it kind of melted or blended. Could do this all day long. It was so easy. You can stroke either way, either that way or this way. Now some trees are not quite such a a sculpted arced canopy. Some of them are a little more random. So just, you know, you can paint that kind too. Just maybe use the corner of the fan brush. And you're just barely grazing the paper. And as you meet up, with these fan brush marks, spread out some branches to meet them. I'll give this one a little bit of ground. Isn't that neat? Simple, easy. Looks like you spent hours painting all those little tiny branches, hours in a magnifying glass. Now, depending on the size of your painting, oops, you can scale this upwards by just making bigger strokes. And of course, a bigger arc. This is just a slightly bigger fan brush, but it's still pretty, pretty small. My rigger, we'll make this kind of multiple trunks maybe. In the distance, everything just kind of blends. We get out to the edge, keep the branches fine. And as I said, when, when I was showing you the demo with the, the gnarly oak tree, the bare limb tree, go out and get the facts. Observation is your greatest ally and teacher in these things. And try to imagine what it looks like. Go find out. And this is just an impression. But it's effective. Add some ground and voila. Thanks, guys. Hope this was a help to you. If it was, like the video. I would appreciate that. Subscribe if you want to see more. And we shall see you next time.